there are lots of companies with talented engineers, uh, talented people, great technologies, innovations, etc. But inside these companies, marketing is like a swear word. Uh, this picture is just one of the examples that our technical team sent to me when I when I asked them to like, can you please send me some um, examples of what engineers think about what we do? Um, but it's again not true. We're not people think that marketing people are just doing nothing, having calls all day, you know, attending conferences, having fun, and that's it. Uh, it actually is not the truth. Uh, because we deliver the messages that people want to uh, deliver to people. Um, and I will reveal the truth. A website, leaflet, and the video are not the brand. They're a website, leaflet, and the video. <laughs> what is the brand, you'll ask me? Um, the brand is what people think about you. The brand is how much money they are ready to pay for your services. The brand is how many people want to work for you and it's not just about the companies even if you're just a space industry professional or any other industry professional or an employee of some company you also have the brand your personal one if you're an expert in certain problem and people have this problem will your name come up first in their head when they have it if the answer is no you have a bad brand right? Because the name sh your name should be first when they have the problem related to you. This is a good brand, not the website, not the leaflet. Uh, so how do we take the first step in developing the brand? We need to answer a couple of questions around the concept, around the brand name, around positioning. And uh, to all those people who are thinking that oh, a complete envision mission document is so boring, nothing to deal with reality, etc., I'll tell you that, again, uh, this is not very true. Because vision and mission, I feel, are two base pillars that your company stands on. And you refer to these documents every time you have a question where uh, that you don't have answer to, right? Uh, vision and mission, by the way, should be filled in every like three to five years. So it's not something that you change every month, right? This is something of a very long term. Um, this is a long term play, I'd say. So um, what, every time you don't know what to do, you go to your vision and mission document and this uh, brings you the answer because you will outline your principles there, your core values, what you think is important for your company. This is everything that should go to these types of documents. Um, every time you outsource your marketing work, for example, you think about social media management and you want a, a, another company for you to do that for you, you just give them the documents and they already know the messages you are trying to um, convey there. Um, so that's extremely important. And I think that these um, these lines are all the questions that you need to ask yourself before building the website, before creating social media. And also, these are the things that you need to ask yourself if you are um, an expert or professional in a certain area. What are the messages that you are trying to uh, tell people? What are the core values that you bring to people? This is extremely important to understand before doing any marketing activity, I would say.